Hi, we are Not Your Mum, and this video was inspired by Amy, who commented below one of our other videos asking how fast period blood drips. Thanks, Amy. Now, um, over the course of the three to seven days of your period, you'll lose around three tablespoons worth of blood. So if your period lasts three days, it's likely to be heavier overall than one that lasts seven. Simple maths, isn't it? But nearly everyone's period is heavy for the first day or two. And at this stage, you may need to wear a heavy flow sanitary towel or a super or super plus tampon. And at night, you might need to double up your protection. So tampon and towel or two towels, just whatever you need. But even at your heaviest, heaviest stage, you should be able to wear a heavy flow tampon or towel for at least an hour before you need to change it. If this is impossible, for example, if you're in a double lesson or maybe on a long car journey, then double up the protection. Two sanitary towels still won't show, uh, even through PE shorts or something like that. And actually something like tights or tight shorts can help to keep your sanitary towel in place, which can prevent leaking. Um, but for your first few periods, it's kind of trial and error. You have to find out what works for you. Um, and if you are in a lesson, unless you are a serial fake toilet trip offender, um, your teacher should let you go. To answer your specific question, Amy, period blood drips uh, pretty much like a faulty tap. So sometimes um, big, slow drips, sometimes little fast drips. Um... Sometimes fast, <laughs> big drips, sometimes <laughs> slow, little drips. Um, anyway, it drips. It variety of drips. Yeah. But what you really need to know is that however it drips, it's totally manageable. Um, after your first two or three periods, you'll know what to expect and how to manage it. Uh, and then it won't be so scary anymore. I promise. If you're worried about being taken by surprise, then um, you could always use a panty liner. You can wear one every day if you want, and that'll be more than enough to catch the very early stages of your period. Yeah, periods take a few hours, maybe even a full day to work up to a full flow. Um, and they're usually the first sort of signs that you'll get are blood on the tissue when you go to the loo or a little bit of blood in your knickers. And often your period is kind to you and gives you about a day's warning that it's uh, on its way with either maybe a faint red smear on the tissue after going to the loo or a little bit of cramping in the tummy all area. Look, periods are a fact of life for us women. So your mum, your female teachers, Taylor Swift, even the Queen back in the day. I bet they've all had a leaking incident. Yeah, they've all had to change their sheets after a heavy flow night or, um, I don't know, started crying for no reason on a bus and had a total stranger try to give them a hug. That one may not be universal, but um, crying for no reason definitely is. The point is, periods might be a pain in the ass, slash vagina, slash uterus, but they literally happen to us all, if, you know, everyone who has a uterus. And they're also a sign that everything is working as it should. Yeah, welcome to the sisterhood. And thank you very much for watching and for your comment. Amy. Yeah, talk thanks to Amy. <laughs> thanks to everyone else for watching as yeah. well. And leave a comment if you like. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. So sometimes fast little drips, sometimes slow big drips. Sometimes slow big drips, you just <laughs> said that. Um, and there's some slow fast drips, sometimes slow fast, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Sometimes fast big drips. That's the one. Have we done that yet? <laughs> uh